what happens? There you go, you open an empty file, empty document, or write empty editor, new buffer. So I'm going to press this, and you know, it's a little easier than uh, our VI, famous VI, because you have all these things here. Uh, I can say Control O, file name to write, genius, then uh, that's it, right? I did press enter and press control X. Unless you have a genius here. That is really good. That is really good. So, I'm going to say RM minus RF again. Genius. Unless. Okay. <clears throat> Next, MKDIR. MKDIR dummy makes. Uh, creates a directory named dummy. Okay. MKDIR mark P. If I use a P switch, I can create multiple directories, one inside the other. Alrighty? So let's do that. So MKDIR. I'm gonna say R H E L five directory. Retata and applies the next five. LS. So it is in blue. Blue means uh, it's a directory, right? So you know that it's a directory just to be sure. So I'm, uh, ran, I ran a file command on RHEL. I did a file on RHEL and it says that it is a directory, so I trust it. So far it has been right. I mean, it is always right. So. Well, it's gonna, let's trust it. R minus RF, R H, I deleted it. Now I'm gonna create again MKDIR, R H E L, inside R H E L. Uh, well, I'm gonna use P switch. Yeah, R H, inside R H E L, I'm gonna say R H E L 5. And inside that, I'm going to say RHEL 5.4. That means this is a directory, this and this is going to be a subdirectory in this main directory. This is going to be a subdirectory in this directory. So this is a sub subdirectory of this. So there's nothing called sub subdirectory. I'm just I'm trying to make it clear. Now you can say remove recursively for RGF as it is gone forever. Okay. <coughs> so we know that ls lists the file ls and ls minus l. I'm sorry, ls minus l is the same as ll. As you can see, both are the same, right? So, next, please. Oh, what is it so colorful thing? Type of the file. How to know what type of file it, it is, alright? So, let's do it, alright? Let's do LL. If I do LL, it's going to tell you that, okay, here, hmm, type of the file. It's D means it's a directory, okay? And it's the first, as you can see, these are now in the sets of nine. First three, read, write, execute. That means this person has read, write, execute permissions, all right? Uh, this person, and he is the owner. Which is the owner of this file, and he has read, write, execute permissions on the on this particular directory. And whoever belongs to a group called Kachu, they have read, write, execute permissions too. And for everybody else, they have read and execute permissions, but not write permissions. All right. And this gonna this is the size of it in bytes, and this is a date and time when it was created. And this is the name of the directory. So that is what I've tried to explain it here. Right? So 34.
VI, VIM, CAT, HEAD, TAIL, S, MORE, BIO STRINGS, AND ALSO NANO, G, D, CHO are used to explore, I'm sorry, explore, <laughs> okay, explore, explore contents of a file or a directory. Isn't that nice? Okay. Cat head, less more, view strings usually display a file as read only, whereas VI, VIM, Nano, Cho, G edit, basically these are text editors, allow us to edit the content as well. That makes sense. Alright, these are binary commands though, they display. And these are text editors, so they allow us to edit them. Nothing new in that. So let's see more command. More command is used to display the large text files one page line at a time from start to end. Navigation keys. Okay, what are the navigation keys? So a lot of navigation keys. We will look into that first. First, I'll uh, try to use more command. So let's try to get a, a big file here. Here more HC password. So, as you can see, spacebar gives an X screen. Yes, it's right. Right, spacebar gives an X screen. If I press spacebar again, it, it entered the line, so it gives an X. Screen. So, spacebar that is right. Enter. If I press enter, it's going to give next line. Let's see the last line is this. I'm pressing enter now. So it is not the last line. There is one more line now. Yes, that is true. Enter is going to take me to the next line. F. Forward a screen. I didn't press F. It forwarded the screen and it actually finished it. Let's do it a little smaller. Okay, let's what if it is this small. Okay. So I'm going to press F now. So it's taking a screen. So when I say I forward a screen, okay, it doesn't mean it is actually the screen. The screen size since I've reduced the screen size now, as you can see, so it's going to take F means forward, B means backward, right backward a screen. There you go. I press F, F over. And then we have navigation keys D for scroll down, down, U for scroll up, half a page. Alright, so let's do this. Okay, scroll down. Okay, and no login is the last line that we have. So I'm going to say down, D. No login. Uh, as we know, there are a lot of no logins here. Like a 61%, I mean, you will at least know here. Okay. You can say web, webalizer, right, webalizer. Okay, do we have webalizer here? Yes, webalizer is here. So it's scrolling a half, no half a screen scrolling down. If I press up, okay, I'm pressing it up. U, it's not. U means scroll up. All right. That's good actually. So then we have search forward for dummy. Okay, is that going to do it? Let's see. Mm, let's execute the command again. All right. We gonna go ahead and execute the command. And now what we wanted to do is search, right? So I'm gonna press this. I'm going to say FTP, FTP, presenter, pattern not found, because pattern is something which is already above me, alright, I'm going to give a pattern, okay, which is actually in there, so, I'm going to say, alright, the last thing is Randy, right, so let's do a search for Randy, Last term. Okay, I'm gonna say Randy. Here we go. Here we have Randy. Isn't that nice? Nice, really nice. Okay. So then, <clears throat> so search forward for dummy. If I wanna search backward, then I can see I can use question mark. Is that right? Hmm. Let's do that. So I'm going to search backward, I'm going to search for root, root, 